It's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. I would love it if you would take a moment to leave me a comment or just say hello. I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a small candle haul. These candles come from Bath and Body Works, they come from Home Goods, and I even got a candle that just came in the mail today from Scentbird. So I'm going to share my new candle scents with you. Let's get started. Now, the first one we're going to start with, I guess we'll start out and work our way in. Um, let's see here. This candle here uh, is a, this is a Ray Dunn candle. I know you've been hearing a lot about Ray Dunn here online. Uh, on YouTube. Um, I have some of her dishware, uh, but I also have one of her candles. And this one came from Home Goods. It's lavender and sage, two of my favorite herbs. I don't know if lavender is an herb, but I love sage. Oh. And it's not that overpowering lavender. Sometimes at Home Goods they have the, the, the lavender colored candles that's lavender, and it's just over the top the notes are so high it's it's just too much for me i like a softer subtle sort of on the sweet side scent and um this one gives me a a a, a, a real like a lavender essential oil with the sage it, it smells really good i like the way it smells it's almost like a like an herb de provence the seasoning. I know I'm not supposed to equate candles with cooking, but I do in the sense that um, the sage, I can smell the notes of sage, the notes, the bottom note I would say is a sage and the top note I would say is a lavender. It's a very soft lavender and sage scent. Um, this one is a good one to put on once you finish cleaning up. It's a really soft, clean scent. I thought it, it to me, it spoke summer. And then this one came from Bath and Body Works. This is Champagne Toast. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. I use this one often. Um, mm, it smells a lot like Peach Bellini. If you've ever smelled Peach Bellini, I think Champagne Toast and Peach Bellini smells the same. It's bubbling champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. I don't know if I smell any champagne, but to me, the top notes in this would be the berries and the tangerine. And I love the scent. And I thought the um, packaging was really pretty. It kind of matches my sweater. I thought the, um, the the jar, not packaging, but the actual candle jar, I thought was really pretty. I love that color. And uh, it screams spring to me. And I guess most of the jars, I noticed I've gotten a lot of them that were in this peach pink family. Mmm. Champagne toast. Love it. Um, I guess I'll just go in this order. And then we've got Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Of course, this is the Bath and Body Works candle. Again, you notice that same color theme I have going on. I've never had this one before and I love it. It smells, it's almost like a, it's like a combination of a, a sweater weather with a little bit of pineapple and tangerine. And I think that's why I like it because it smells, it would be if, if um, Sweater Weather and Peach Bellini had a baby, it would be Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. And I think that's why I like it so much. I smell the, I smell the passion fruit. 
in the peaches, the fruit, the citrusy top notes. And then at the bottom, I smell a sweater weather. And I just, I mean, it's like sweater weather for the spring. <laughs> I love this one. I probably should have gotten two. Um, I'll place an order online when the candles go down again in price. And I'll get another one if they still have it. But this one is, is, is worth checking out to me. If you like sweater weather and you like peach bellini or even um, champagne toast, you like this one. This one here is called Ivory Coast. This is a Chesapeake Bay candle. I love Chesapeake Bay candles. I used to get them from Target. Um, I don't know if their buyers are not dealing with Chesapeake Bay at Target anymore or what, but the candles have changed. My, my signature candle used to come from Target. Um, the um, chestnut, and, chestnut and clove, and that was a Chesapeake Bay candle. Um, they're hard to get now. Um, I don't see them very much at all, but I noticed that they're at Home Goods now, not so much at Target. This one is, um, it is a soy candle, so you gotta be careful. I don't know what the notes on here is. They don't say. But it's a very, it's again, it's a clean scent. Light. Like a vanilla. Like a vanilla and pineapple. Like a citrusy vanilla. I like that. And I like the packaging is simple. Gray and white. Again, it reminds me of a summer. It's a summer type scent. Love it. And then we've got another Bath and Body Works candle. Um, sun washed. Actually, these are White Barn. These are the White Barn candles, but I, I got them from Bath and Body Works. Um, sun washed petals. And the fragrant notes, and the fragrance notes is Island Plumeria, Golden Tierra Flowers, and Warm Sandalwood. And that sounded interesting to me, and I loved it. The flowers would be the top note, and then right at the bottom, I smell a little sandalwood. And I like sandalwood essential oils. Um, I'm kind of funny about my floral scents sometimes because they can be um, that manufactured, I don't know what it is. I, I'm really funny about that. Um, but these are really pretty. Like I said, the bottom note is sandalwood. I like it. This one's pretty. And then I'll go to, speaking of flower scents, Rose Water and Ivy. Um, the scents on this is Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kissed Ivy, and Spring Musk. And I love the smell of this. I'm not a musk fan. I don't particularly care for the way the musk smells. But it must be a very, very, very bottom note because it's not prevalent. It's not what I smell first. It's not what hits me first. It's that rose water smell. And I love rose water. And that's what's hitting me first. Rose water. If you like rose water, you'll love this candle. And again, the, the color, the color of the jar, once the candle is gone, you can definitely use this. Then I got uh, a peach bellini, <laughs> peach bellini, and I love that iridescent jar. And I think, well, I was gonna get a peach bellini candle anyway, and they had them in several different packages, packaging. Uh, succulent white peaches, sparkling prosecco, and sweet oranges. And that's what I smell in here. The top notes being the peach and the orange. I love that. I mean, what's not to like? Prosecco, oranges, and what is it? Prosecco, peaches, and oranges? I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> mm, that smells so good. And then, like I said, this one just came in the mail from Scentbird. I ordered this one. This is the Cucumber and Lotus. I think I paid $7 for this candle. It's a little on the small side, but I love the way this and the lotion smell. I got the lotion in a, as a, um, like a freeze, a sample in my, um, one of my orders from Scentbird. And I love the lotion. So I said, let me order the candle. Mm. 
Oh, that smells so good. Well, on here it doesn't tell you any notes or anything like that. It's just cucumber and lotus. It smells really good. It's it's right up my alley. It smells, it reminds you of the spa, the fruit water that they give you and the candles that they have burning in there as you're back changing your clothes. Um, that's what this remind me of. So when I, when I got the lotion and I tried it, I keep it in my handbag because I love the way it smells. It reminds me of the spa. And last but not least, Endless Weekend. I guess I got this for the name. I wish for an endless weekend, but I guess too much of anything, too much of anything is, is, is not good for you. I mean, when I was little, I used to always wish Christmas was every day. And my parents would say if it was every day, it wouldn't be special. Same thing with weekends. If it was every day, it wouldn't be special. Don't live for the weekend, but enjoy the weekend. And I got this candle called Endless Weekend. And the notes on this is fresh. Well, let me smell it first. Mm, soft, clean. What are the notes on this? A fresh summer, fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water. I don't like coconut water. I am not a coconut water fan. I like how it hydrates, but I don't like the way it tastes. I can't, however, take it if it's in a little pineapple. The pineapple coconut water, I can do that one, but regular coconut water, that is not my judge. I smell the I smell the magnolia, and I would say the magnolia would be the mid-tone. Uh, there's a top note of something in here. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming they're saying Mandarin, uh, but I don't know. But I smell it, and I like it. And then the blue coconut water, I don't know what blue coconut water smells like, so I can't tell you where it is in the top bottom, the top mid or bottom. I don't know, but I like the way it smells. I like it. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. I like my spring scents that I picked up. Um... I will probably go and get a few more. Like I said, I like the um, the Aloha, what is it? The Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. So I may go back and get a couple more of those or I'll probably do it online. I'll probably order a couple more of those. Uh, but other than that, that's what I'm gonna be rocking this spring. And I just thought I'd share it with you. And that's it, we're all done. <laughs> enjoyed my candle haul if you did let me know by leaving me a comment down below and giving me a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and don't forget stop by my second channel creative glam crafts I'll leave the link down in the description box and on that note you have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!